fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP and today we're going to be doing a little bit more villager work and uh, thanks to your guys' help, I've, I think I've kind of figured out uh, what was going wrong with my old farm? So you guys kind of told me in the comments in the last video that I I basically had like a perfect breeding system slash farm here. The only thing that I was missing is that, or the only thing that was kind of wrong with the with the process was that I, I had too many villagers in one area. And I finally figured out what you guys were talking about. And uh, I realized that after I moved like four of the villagers to my new holding pen that you guys saw in the last episode, these ones started to breed again. So if you guys can take a quick look, there's one baby here. There's supposed to be, there's, there's two babies now. So we've got two baby villagers. So that means there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven in here. And I'm pretty sure that this little area here can hold, um, I think, around eight. Around eight, um around eight villagers so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna do this off of camera i'm just kind of explaining to you guys the process that i finally figured out worked so i kind of just have to keep moving these oh these just grow up oh no they're still there so you guys told me that there's a lot of trading mechanisms with librarians so that having more librarians will probably be very very good so I decided, you know what, I, I'm trying to breed as much librarians as I can and then maybe I'll have like a like an underground trading system of some type. I'm not really sure how that works, but you guys had that all in the, in the description uh, section or in the comment sections in the last video. And I thought that would probably be a great idea to add onto uh, my little base here. But I, I, I don't know if I want to move this entire... Uh, this entire breeding cell here because I mean if I move this cell I'm probably going to have to um, I'm probably going to have to like I don't know change a bunch of the plans around sort of I mean I guess I could have that section as my breeding cell and then I could kind of just build off of these two forks of my base I haven't really decided yet so I'm kind of trying to figure out exactly what I want to do what exactly I want to do for this portion of uh, my villager farm so give me some ideas guys i'm not really sure like once again i don't know if i want to keep on uh breeding or if i want to still make that breeding shop that i kind of discussed um a couple of episodes ago or if i want to kind of just go off on a, a, a completely different direction because so i'm kind of like at a crossroads right now i'm not really sure what to do uh with this little farm i mean i'm pretty sure i would if i kept this here i'd probably expand it a little bit and I'd also probably um, make it a little bit more neater because I've been doing a lot of work here. And then as you guys can see, they're, they're still, they're still like, I think they're self breeding right now because they have enough food, but I need to, I need to just 100% make sure that I have enough uh, iron golems or enough <coughs> little babies or whatnot, whatever you guys want to call it for me to actually keep this farm going. So I'm probably going to do more of this work off of camera, as I said. Because taking or moving villagers um, around to the other farm is kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm, I'm going to probably just leave that to some more off-camera work. And then I'll kind of just update you guys if uh, any major changes happen. But yeah, so I, I need to complete uh, my little villager holding pen here. And I'll probably do that within the next couple of days. I just really... Uh, it's Mother's Day today. I'm recording this on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you uh, all you mothers people out there all you mothers out there You guys will probably be watching this like two days afterwards because I just released a rise SMP episode So belated happy Mother's Day to all you guys make sure you guys treat your mothers nicely every single day of the year But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead. I want to go actually uh, Harvest some sugarcane because I need to start collecting on trading materials for uh, my actual my actual villagers and then I want I wanted to prank someone this episode but I haven't really gotten any prank ideas uh, recently or I don't I don't have any off the top of my head that I could just do so in the comment sections below guys if you guys want a prank in the next episode give me some ideas on what I can do um, what I can do to prank somebody here on rise and uh, yeah, that's kind of there's big plans coming along. We're kind of just moving straight along. I I think I'm honest. I honestly think I'm ready to fight the Ender Dragon, or I'm ready to do something in the Nether or in the end. 
but I haven't um, I haven't really gotten the confirmation from everybody else exactly when they want to do that recording mm -hmm. because obviously everybody's kind of I mean all the high school students are kind of really really busy with their last like uh, semester of finals and whatnot so I'm kind of just waiting for everybody to get on the same page with all that types of stuff so I mean it shouldn't take too long I don't think um, maybe another couple of episodes but we'll kind of see we'll kind of just we're, we're kind of just seeing how it plays out from here really so not n nothing too big plan but if something does happen you guys will obviously know about it so um, I haven't done too much work on my little mine room I was kind of working on uh, just the villager aspect of this entire farm and I kind of want to try to make them breed another time so I'm gonna grab some paper and I'm gonna grab some of my emeralds because I know I love they love the emeralds so let's head on in here there's one two there's still two babies they, well, there's a lot of librarians in here now they're making a lot of librarian babies which is really nice uh, is there any babies over here anyone over here so we have one one two, they keep moving too fast one two three four five six and then the ba other baby seven all right so we're gonna try to i mean at least try to get them trading at least so let's get this his love hearts going come on baby oh i hate i hate like the little mechanic that it uses like it's all random come on nothing i need you to trade i need you to love each other all right, come on. Anything? Anything at all? No? Are you serious? Come on. Love. No love? What the heck? I just gave him so much stuff and they, they wanted no love. What does this guy trade? Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. I'm kind of just trying to trigger their uh, their love making mood so then they can start making some babies. But they're not, they're not doing it. I need more... Uh, I'm going to need more paper eventually but i'm just gonna go ahead and keep on trading this glass for this emerald i don't really use emeralds yet so i'm kind of just trying to use it as like trade trading stuff so i can actually um i can get there oh my god if, if, the, if the door sounds are annoying you guys i'm very very sorry come on make love they won't make love this is so sad uh, this is see so this is the hard part about kind of dealing with villagers like it, they're kind of like really really unpredictable when it comes to this type of stuff so we're kind of trying our best to try to get one to make a love but yeah so I kind of figured out the mechanics of this as I was saying earlier you guys basically helped me figure out what I was doing wrong and what I was doing right so I've got their nice basic room here but I need to kind of move villagers out and then try to keep them breeding I guess you could say and then I need another farmer villager because my farmer villager got destroyed by um, what's it called by by one of the zombies during a night time oh there we go we got one loving all right so let's get another one loving I need one more loving and we should have some babies in here in the near future come on start making love I need you to make love come on <laughs> it's like it's so random too like how they actually get the little love bug going see she still doesn't have it oh my gosh I've been I've been trading my emeralds away come on oh my gosh come on you there's like a 20% I think it's like less than a 20% chance for them to actually uh, want to take um, want to take the trade or whatever so I'm trying my best guys I haven't traded the two emerald one. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure that's a guaranteed. Um, whoa, 21 emeralds for a name tag? What kind of rip off is that? All right, let's give them three here. I'm, I know that this will 100% give them the love. What? Are you serious? I just gave you three emeralds and you still don't want to make love? What the heck is that? Come on, right here. That's my last emerald. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, so he's got the love bug going on. This one has the love bug going on right here. So hopefully, uh, I'm gonna actually try to get another one of these villagers out of this little section here, so we can. Uh, where's my rail carts? Um, where's my slab? I need a slab. Here's a slab. Put it up there. Put this here. All right. So let's get one of these villagers out of here, just so we can. Uh, try to see if they'll make they'll make more babies so that's kind of that's kind of the whole reason or my whole the whole reasoning behind oh my gosh 
Come on, get on the rail. Get on the rail. There we go. Push. All right, now stay out there. Uh-oh, there's probably zombies around. I forgot that it was nighttime. Uh-oh, mistakes have been made. Oh, wait, no, it's not nighttime anymore. Okay. So I took away a villager. So that means that those two other villagers there should be making babies anytime soon. So hopefully we get another. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Go that way. Go. Yeah, so <laughs> as I was saying, those two other villagers might have to uh, or might or should be able to make more babies over there. And we can kind of expand our little uh, prisoner slash uh villager farm here very very shortly but uh yeah so thank you guys for all your ideas all your like every every single idea that you guys what the heck why is it going back all the ideas that you guys have given me for this portion of the uh of the villager expansion system and uh i really do appreciate it guys i i love like working with these villagers i really have never ever worked with villagers before in minecraft so this is kind of the first time and it's very it's very uh i don't know how to really explain it but it's very frustrating sort of oops i accidentally punched him i'm sorry oh my god the villagers died oh my i need to block this off for real what how did they die my villagers on the outside died and it was all it was all walled up that's impossible oh my gosh okay i need to put a roof on this right now i'm gonna put a roof on this just so oh i am so angry right now i don't <laughs> wow did they really die i had three how many did i have at the beginning of the video guys two i think i had two villagers in here what a waste so all my villager breeding stuff is kind of just going to waste right now because freaking these mobs keep spawning and killing them inside here, which is so stupid. Where are they spawning? It's perfectly torched up in here. Oh, that makes me mad. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I don't even understand how that happens. Like I had I had a perfect system going on. Like I, <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong and I I don't I don't see it. Maybe I should have put a roof a lot earlier, but. That's probably my mistake, but whatever. No big deal, right? Well, kind of a big deal because I just lost two villagers. Oh my gosh. I hate those freaking zombies. That's so stupid. They freaking killed my villagers. All right, let's go ahead and put out a roof on here. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. We can put a roof. So we've got only one villager in our little, uh, our new farm away from home over there. Man, come on. Oh, how did that, how does that even happen? All right, yeah, let's put a roof over here. Maybe we can get two villager uh, breeding systems going. One over here and then one at the house. I'm going to need more glass, don't I? Oh, my gosh. I didn't plan this very well. can't believe I lost another villager. Ah, so we have one in here. We have one in here. That'll probably end up dying very soon, too. Because, but I don't really want to spend the time getting them out. So we've got two so far. Um, how many are over here? Let's see, let's count it. Two, three. Is there anything over here? No. Four, five, six, seven. We have seven. Where'd the other baby go? Oh, it, it might have grown up already. What the heck is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you going out? Why are you going out? Oh, no, 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 no. Go, go back in. No! Crap! Crap, 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 crap. Um... I need to push him back. He's like glitch. He's in the chest. Oh, he's making love. What the heck was that? Do you see that? He's making love. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. This iron golem's trying to kill me. Oh, but it's making love with something. I need to kill this iron golem. Come here, iron golem. Come here. I think I think it's mad at me because I I hit the thing. I hit the villager. All right, come here, Iron Golem. Come here. Ah, stay back. Stay back. Oh, this is gonna take. Oh God! No God! I'm gonna die! 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 No! 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 Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Stay there! Stay there! Stay there! Stay there! Stay there! Okay! 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 Oh, drop some iron ingots. Oh my gosh! That thing nearly killed me. <laughs> oh my God! The Iron Golem nearly killed me. Is this another baby? Did they make a baby? One. Two. Oh, there's another baby! They made a baby! <laughs> Yay! 
Hey, what is this? It is a, I think that's a butcher. Hey, they made another baby. All right, so we've kind of got the mechanism going on. We need more glass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? That iron golem was like protecting its freaking villagers like crazy. I nearly died right there. What the heck? All right, so this is this is this is the struggles that it that it takes when we're dealing with these freaking uh, villagers. I have 31 glass. I don't think that's enough, honestly. Do I have any more sand anywhere? Do I not have any sand? I'm gonna need to go into the beach and grab more sand over there. Oh my gosh, that was actually scary. That brought me down to like five hearts. That was a lot closer. That thing is very strong. It was a lot closer than I expected it to. Frick it hits a lot. I never knew iron golems hit that much. Maybe just because we're on a survival world. That's probably why it hits that much. Holy crap. All right, I see a beach over here. Let's go ahead and grab some sand and start this cooking. We need to close off that um we need to close off that freaking thing before the next nightfall cuz I'll end up losing that one villager that I have moved over there. So, uh let's go ahead and do this. Bam bam bam. How much sand is that? 52. That's that should be fine. Let's go ahead and leave this beach alone. We don't want to ruin nature as much as possible, so we'll go ahead. Yeah, so I'm kind of just rambling on, guys, but I kind of really really happy I'm, I'm really really happy that I finally figured out exactly what I need to do to kind of keep expanding my uh, iron golem farm or not my iron golem farm my villager breeding system and I kind of just have to move stuff away but it kind of is really really awkward I'm probably just gonna end up like decorating this wall here and then I need some sort of entrance and exit mechanism so that these villagers can't really get out um, during why am I coming over here I need to uh, Put this in here let me grab that steak put those in there start cooking yeah so i kind of figured it out finally it took us only like 40 episodes to finally figure it out but uh we figured it out for the most part i mean uh can't really complain about uh finally figuring out the villager systems i've never worked with villagers so i'm kind of just really happy that i kind of uh, getting the the slight bit of an idea of what exactly I need to do to get them to start breeding with each other So we're gonna keep it we're gonna continue I'm gonna try to do some more manipulation off of camera to try to see and try to get more of these villagers in here and uh, Maybe we'll end up having like some type of villager um, Villager business that, that was my main goal of uh, Messing around with these villagers. I honestly just didn't know that it would be this hard <laughs> I didn't know that it would be this hard to be dealing with freaking villagers like who who, who would have thought right like who would have thought that that would have ever happened but uh, Let's see if we can get a couple more trades done for uh, These villagers and then we, maybe we could get a couple more baby babies by the end of this episode And then that'll be that'll be a really really nice thing to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that I have no more emeralds. What can I use? I think I could use coal to trade um, I need to fix up my inventory a little bit. This looks like a mess. Alright, let's put that in there. Put this in this chest because I keep it in there for some reason. Uh, I can put one of these away. Gunpowder goes in here. Uh, iron ingots go in there. I can keep those arrows. Polish diorite. Put these chests away. See, so I'm kind of organized. I kind of like memorize where everything is as of right now, but there's still I, I still want that automatic sorting system that, that'll be coming in the next week guys I promise I just haven't had the time to fully commit to it yet So I'm kind of just waiting so we've got villagers in here. What was I gonna do again? I was gonna place doors down these doors that I took away And hopefully that'll make them spawn a little faster and then I was gonna trade that's what I was gonna do All right, let's get into this toolsmith. Let's make you give you that Will that make you love? Will that make you love? No, it will not. What else does these people trade? Let's see. Eight iron ingots? Three diamonds for one emerald? That is a ripoff. Efficiency two. All right, so it looks like... Oh! Was that making love? It's making love! It's making love with something. All right, where's the baby? I need to see the baby come out. It's making love. They're making love. We're making love today. All right, where's the baby? That's the old baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven in here. I think the max that could be in here is like nine. I'm gonna come intrude on your love making session. <laughs> All right, so I saw some love bubbles floating. I'm not sure if that was an actual, uh, that was actually them or not. 
But uh, there should be a baby coming out anytime soon here. Um, or maybe it was just loving its baby. Like, it was just like, hey, I love you, baby. And then decided to give some uh, freaking hearts out. I'm not really sure. But I'm trying to make these make more babies by trading them. And it's not working very well, as you guys can see. Come on, make love. I make love to you like you want me to. And I hold you tight, baby. Oh, there we go. There's one, baby. All through the night, I make love to you when you want me to. And I will not let go until you tell me to. All right, what other good trades can we do here? All right, we've got only six emeralds. Let's just, just keep trying this paper trade, I guess. Come on. There we go. Oh, they're making love. Something's making love. Something is a making a love. Something is a making love in there. Oh, there we go. There it is. Let's get another villager before we end this episode. Oh, I'm so excited. I finally figured it out. So this, our breeding cell here, let's let's have a quick overview before we check if they actually made any babies over there. But our breeding cell here, oh my gosh, wait, it's nighttime. Oh, wait, 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 guys, time out, time out, time out. Hold that thought, hold that thought. I need to close off that area over there. Do I have enough bricks? I need to close off that area before it kills my one freaking zombie over there. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Nothing? All right, it's still alive. All right, we'll just eventually have to change this. Oh, this isn't gonna work because, oh my gosh, no. You know what, I'm just gonna go inside here and torch up this area like crazy. Because I don't know where they're spawning. I don't know how they could possibly spawn in here. Because it's all lit up in here. So I'm not sure if they're like dropping down from somewhere or what. But I need to figure that out. But I need to eventually change this. Uh, I need to eventually change this stone brick right here into glass. Because obviously, um, the as you guys told me in the past episodes, the villager systems need glass to be able to uh, get broken down or whatever. Or they need to be able to see the ceiling. Uh, for it to work properly, so oh my gosh, what is happening over here? Oh, there's a creeper! No, 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 get away! Get away! Thank you. All right, hopefully, nothing happens to them. I'm really man, that's so <laughs> if that villager dies, I'm kind of, this villager system is it's so hard to maintain. We have to try to keep all of them alive at once, but yeah, let's go ahead and end the episode. Let's check first if. Uh, we made any more villagers here, and if we did, I'll be really, really, really happy. And if we didn't, no, well, it's fine. We can try again. So there's one. That one is still making love. That one wants to make love. I don't know why they're not making love with each other. Let's try to... Let's... Oh, there's one. There's one baby. That one wants to make love with something. And I think it's just, it's just having a hard time deciding which one of these pretty little fellas to make love with. But yeah, let's go ahead and end the episode. So this... Breeding cell here. This little area that I have here. This can hold nine villagers apparently because the max is nine before they stop breeding with each other. And then I have to move another one out for them to continue breeding. But that's basically the idea right now. We're going to kind of just try to keep on doing this breeding system to see if we could get maybe a nice efficient system going on to try to maybe make a villager shop or something. But we'll kind of see where we go from here. We're kind of just experimenting as we go along. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. You guys watched us make love today. We made a couple of babies. Look at that. That's still trying to make love. I need to tr I need to try to give it something. Um, which one is the one making love? I'm not really sure. I need to give this... All right, let's try to make one of them. Um, where's, the, where's the good trades? There you go. This one wants to love. Um, let's just do, okay, let's do this one. Give me something good. Come on, love each other. Oh, there we go. Okay, those two should be making love anytime soon. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. We finally figured out the villager system. Thanks to every single one of your guys' help. I'm ho Hopefully you guys are enjoying my Rise SMP episodes. This is probably one of my favorite series right now. I just love recording and trying to figure out how Minecraft mechanics work. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys later.